I'm looking for the one. I want to try and get married soon. I think you could be the one. So uh, I don't know what your agenda. Don't know what your. Don't know what your agenda is today, darling. But maybe it could be me and you. My philosophy is I might be dead tomorrow, and if I see an attractive woman, I want to come and tell her that she's attractive, with uh, no agenda, and just hope that you have a fantastic day. She's my favourite. I appreciate you, man. You got you got a good dance moves, man. Just put it there, man. Just put it there. You have a good day, eh? Yeah? I don't know who you're on the phone to. Can I mum. Oh, I... hello, mum. I'm a random attractive stranger who's talking to your daughter. I uh, just wanted to say she looks lovely today. All right, here we are. It's a Friday afternoon in London. And today, what we're doing is uh, we're going to go around London and we're going to be prioritising having conversations with people. So. I'm not even going to be like trying to get people's numbers, right? Because like and often a sticking point for guys, like let's say you've never done this before and you're an absolute beginner and you are scared shitless to come out here. You're thinking like in your mind, need to get numbers, need to get girls to like me. And I like, you're like paralyzing yourself already. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be holding myself back and I'm not going to be going for any numbers. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be practicing my conversation skills. So we're going to go on a pilgrimage uh, to Covent Garden because I hear it's quite lively there at this time. And on our way there, I'm just going to be ricocheting between interactions, having conversation with people. I don't even care who it is. It could be women, it might even be men, who knows? Um, just to make myself feel nice about life and to break the ice with myself and to remind ourselves that if you are a beginner, you know, it's all right to feel a little bit nervous, a little bit scared to come out here. And you don't want to be uh, fixating on getting phone numbers if you've never even gone up to a stranger before and had a conversation with them. So I'm just going to go and vibe with the world and see what happens. People might like me, people might not like me. Got a camera on me. So it's only pressure, isn't it? You have to, you know, when, you, when you're filming this stuff, you've always got different thoughts going through your head. You're thinking, you know, how's this video going to turn out? Is it going to be good? Are people going to watch it? people going to like it? Don't forget to hit the like button. That makes me feel nice. And yeah, man, so the world is our playground today. We're probably just going to be walking around for 30 minutes having just conversations with people, man. See what, uh, see what people, you know, say and stuff. Do you know what? Let's do this one. Let's go in. Excuse me, darling. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah? I wanted to say that you look very interesting oh, right. with your lovely jacket on, with your yeah. scarf and stuff. You're looking at me like you've never seen a person before. <laughs> Come out with the absolute blue. Yeah. Well, listen, I hope you have a lovely day. It's quite yeah. cloudy today, but you put a smile on my face with your interesting dress code. You look what like you. Is you look. Nice. What is what? Dress code. It's the way that you're dressed. Oh, right. It's, okay. it, it looks good on you. Yeah. You look like you could be in like some Western film with the thing around your neck. I can imagine you on some pony, like a Shetland pony, and they're uh, just making people feel nice. And I hope you have a lovely day. Yeah. All right, darling. I okay. hope you've enjoyed this spontaneous interaction. Yeah, where are you from? I got you a, I got you a flower then. Do you see oh, that? Right. That, that was, that was from? Uh, from the Lake District. Really, what, you come down here for the day? Or? Well, yeah, basically, I'm looking for the one. I want to try and get married soon. I think you could be the one. <laughs> So uh, I don't know what your agenda. Don't know what your. I don't know what your agenda is today, darling. But maybe it could be me and you, San Francisco. Uh, meet me here at 9 p.m. tonight, and we will fly this away. Is some sort of we joke, will fly. Honestly. How dare you? This is. You could have been the one. Now you put a dagger through my heart. Yeah. Well, listen. I hope that you have a fantastic day. I yeah. feel like I've told you to have a good day about 100 times now. You've not wished me a nice day. You need to tell me to. I don't know who you are. You don't know. I'm, I'm a celebrity. You've not seen me before. No. Jesus Christ. Where have you been all this time? Do you have the internet? I do, yeah, of okay. course. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, listen, I'm going to say it one more time and then we're going to depart. <laughs> have a fantastic day. Yeah, have a wonderful day. All right, darling. All right. You nice stay, you, 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 you What's stay. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. My name's Christian. Christian. And your name is? Joe. It's yeah. a solid name. Joe. Joe. Yeah. You sound quite posh. Well, not really. <laughs> London, yeah. Islington. Oh, it's meant to be quite nice there. Oh yeah, it's really smart. Yeah, all my family come from there. Right. So, all children houses. They do art. It's all art design and 
loads of restaurants, bars, all that sort of stuff, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, you, if you've never been there, go there because it's like quite cool. Place. It sounds like a my sort of place, to be honest. Yeah, you need to investigate it. I need to investigate you know, it. Like, oh, well, we'll go on our second date there then. Oh, yeah. This is our first date. You rejected <laughs> them flowers, though, from that lovely woman. Yeah, exactly. You've got all the answers, haven't I do, you? I do, but you've got the questions. Yeah, and that's, that's, why, that's, that's why it's a match made in heaven, Joel. Yeah, I do now that I've met you. Yeah, you know, well, you put really you put you put a <laughs> smile on my face. You've really got all the answers here. Oh, yes. well, I'm a magician. Are you? Oh, I like magicians. No, oh, that's why that's why you like me. That's why you're not left after the initial hello. Yeah, exactly. I chat to people. Yeah, if someone comes up to me spontaneously, then I'll chat to them. I like magicians. I think they're pretty cool. Why? Because I like magic. And I think it's really interesting. I love watching it. Seriously, it's just like I just think it's so entertaining. And you know, when you see these things, I've seen them live. I think it's fantastic live. Mm. And also on TV, it's mm. quite, you know, so you get really engrossed into it. Mm. You know, it's like a proper interaction, isn't it? You know, like mm. with the person. It's personal, and it triggers emotions just, as well. Yeah. It makes, it, makes, it makes you question reality because I think a lot, a lot of people, they sleepwalk through life and they don't question anything. But with magic, it makes you question things. How long have you been doing it for? I started yesterday, but it's going pretty well for me. Ten years. Ten, ten years. years what? Ten years or like two days? No, ten, <laughs> ten, ten, ten years. It's my job now, so obviously I need to uh, be quite good at it to get paid and shit, you know. Oh, right, really? Mm -hmm. Are you telling the truth? No, you can Google me if you want. You have to Google me. So, Christian. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. It's, Chris, yeah. it's Christian with a K. Christian. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Oh, I don't. Okay, and um, you've been in any magazines or anything? Uh, yeah, I was in the front cover of Playboy magazine once, but uh, that's a different story. Yo. Oh, I don't know. What can I say? I'm a bit of a flirt, aren't I? But listen, no, have a fantastic have day. A I'm going to go meet my ex-wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you later, Joe. What a fantastic interaction, man. That's just nice, isn't it? Like, already, I feel, like, fucking nice and just... It's just cool, isn't it? Like, there's loads of stuff to chat about in that one, but to be honest, I mean, I can break it down, but I feel like the most important part, it was just a fucking nice conversation with a fucking interesting woman. Didn't really know what was going on, to be honest. She was just... I was just getting, like, bamboozled by it. At first, she looked absolutely scared, scared shitless. Then just this random woman gave her a flower. And then we were just chatting about life and stuff. Do you know what I mean? That, if, if you can transfer that non-needy, no fixation on outcome energy to women who you're really attracted to, then your life will change. Your game will change. Your seduction will hit new heights because you're no longer bothered about what happens after that conversation. And I know people are always like, yeah, you've got to be free from outcome. And I think that's good advice, but it's also shit advice to guys who are needy, who are in a place of desperation to guys who don't have a lot of options. If you say to a guy like that, be free from outcome, it's quite difficult to digest that information. But for me, if you're coming out here, being free from, from outcome simply means that, yes, you want to change things. You want to create options for yourself, but you always have to have that want it, but don't need it mentality. And it's difficult to get, but I guarantee you with time, by coming out here, just having conversations with people, getting outside of your house, realising that the world's a big place, realising that not every girl's going to be into you, you realise that it's about your relationship with yourself. And when you have that secure relationship with yourself, people can come and go. And that, that just makes your life better when you know, you're happy to be you. And that's, that's just nice. Are they together? Yeah, they're together. That's a shame. I've had a nice chat there. However, our pilgrimage goes on. Um, so yeah, man, we're gonna go to Leicester Square now and hopefully we can find some more interesting people to have chats and stuff with and uh, see where this takes us. Are you on the phone? Oh, I just wanted to say you look absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank uh, you. You had, a, you had a cigarette in your hand. I don't know who you're on the phone to. Could Me, mum. 
Oh, I, hello, Mum. I'm a random attractive stranger who's talking to your daughter. Uh, I just wanted to say she looks lovely today. She's got a Tesco Thank bag you. in her hand. Tesco. You like you've ransacked the absolute fuck out of Tesco. <laughs> Where are you going anyway? Back to work. Wait, hang on. We're going to get married. Where are you going? Oh, no, oh, you could have. Too late. Wait. Oh, we're already married. That's nice. You got a ring for yourself. Oh, you stay sexy. There you go, man. She loved it, didn't she? She had headphones in. She's on the phone to her fucking mum. <laughs> and uh, we're just riffing with the world, man. And that's what I advise you to do as well. Just, you know, no sort of agenda. Just feeling nice about life, having conversations. So, like, in a sort of, like, day gamey context, I've done two approaches today, but they're not approaches, man. They're not approaches. They're fucking conversations. Stop, stop labelling things as like, oh, I need to do 10 approaches to feel good about life. Rather than doing that, come out here with the intention of having conversations with people rather than being like, I need to hit a certain metric today. Otherwise, you're going to fuck yourself over. Other you're going to be in that pickup mindset where it's like, I need to take things from people in order to feel good about myself. If I don't go home today with like five numbers and I'm a failure, you know, it's just bullshit, man. Like, life is what you want it to be. There's no rules to any of this stuff. You know, I'm coming out here today just to have a fucking good time with life, enjoy myself, flirt with the world, seduce the world. Now we're going in Leicester Square and just like, no, if I, if I look at my hand right now, that, that, like, that's, that's my hand. Like, you're alive. That's just a fucking crazy, crazy thought. I feel like a lot of people don't actually meditate on that enough. It's like, we're alive and it's like, that's such a crazy experience of like, you know, being alive and, just being able to breathe in the air and have a nice time and I don't know man, there's something special about that. It's easy to get a bit bogged down in stuff but if you have that zoomed out perspective you realise that everything's forgettable, nothing matters, you don't need to be so anxious about life, we're just people, we all shit the same, we all have to go for a poo at inconvenient times, just don't drink too much coffee, you'll be alright. But yeah man, it's just, it's just nice isn't it? Just nice to vibe around and it's just cool man. Hi, uh, have a good day, yeah? Da da da, just, hello, have a nice day. <laughs> having a cigarette, that's nice. Let's tell these people to have a nice day. Hello, have a nice day, they ignore me, they don't care about me. It's nice, isn't it? You realise that it's all fucking forgettable. You know, like, you say hello to somebody, don't even acknowledge your existence. Do I feel bad about life? Nope. Do I feel better about life? Yes. Because you're putting yourself out there. And honestly, the more audacious shit you do, keep it legal, obviously, you don't be doing anything fucking weird. I don't, you know, I don't condone any weird shit, but just, do, just, just be more audacious. Just break the ice for yourself. Come out here and just fucking, you know, just, 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 just do shit. Do you know what I mean? Just do shit. Shut up and do shit. I feel like them people thought I was talking to them then. They're like, shut up. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking to you, man. I was a busker. We have to be careful this busker, actually, because last time I got a copyright strike. Hopefully he doesn't sound too good. And then he'll, he'll be better. Yeah, let's look at this guy dancing, man. I'm gonna go tell him he's got a good dance move, man. Mate, 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 you've got fantastic dance moves. I, I appreciate you, man. You've got, you've got good dance moves, man. Just put it there, man. Just put it there. You have a good day, yeah? You have a good day. You have a good day, brother. All right. There we go, man. That's just nice. We're just vibing with the world here, man. Nice, isn't it? We'll get away from this music. Excuse me, darling. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I'm, in a, I'm in a massive rush. I just want to say your dress code is very interesting. It's very cool. You've got like an emerald coming out of your sleeve. And I was like, it's that. It looks like an emerald. Uh, I just wanted to say that you look cool and I could be uh, dead tomorrow. But I just wanted to have a chat with you. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you anything. You look suspicious as fuck. Look, look at your eye contact. You're like, wait, what's this guy? This guy's either selling something or he's on something. Uh, it's just. No, no, it's just uh, my philosophy is I might be dead tomorrow and if I see an attractive woman, I want to come and tell her that she's attractive with uh, no agenda and just hope that you have a fantastic day. You as well, Alright, oh, darling, no worries. You stay sexy. There you go, man, no agenda, only vibes. That's all we're going for there, man. No agenda, just fucking vibe. Vibe with the world. Enjoy yourself. No one's going to die today. No one's going to die today, my ass. Yes, it's there. Uh, 
interesting. Excuse me, darling. Oh, yeah. You look very engrossed in your phone. I just want to say you look like a very good uh, walking human sleeping bag. And I hope you have a lovely day. Come on, darling. She looks at me like, what do you want from me? And that's nice, man. And I think that's, that's important as well because we kind of forget when we're doing all this stuff. I was speaking about this actually with a friend the other day. We forget as guys that girls get nervous too. Yeah, if you go up to a girl, most people are glued to that. Fucking hell, stinks, stinks of the good ganja. Um, if you go up to. <laughs> uh, it's not my mind works. It just goes zigzags from place to place. Yeah, I was speaking about this with my mate the other day. Um, girls get nervous too when you go up to them because you're basically giving them the spotlight effect. Yeah, especially if you're going up direct. I always advocate to guys go direct, but like, you know, you're making the girl make a decision, and that's a good thing. Oh, one sec. Oh. Ladies, ladies, how are you? just you look all you just all look fantastic. Oh, you all look fantastic, and I what don't you nothing. I don't have enough energy for all of you. I would marry you all if I could, Brilliant. but I've already got enough wives for the year. Brilliant. However, I hope get you have a fantastic. Uh, sorry. Get two points. Yeah. I get, I get I get two points. Oh, I thought you said I get two points. Well, listen, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and uh, I just hope you all keep looking lovely. Oh, all right. You. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. Oh. She's my favourite. Obviously. Stay sexy. There you go. Get in with the MILFs. The Cougars. <laughs> uh, it's funny, isn't it, man? It's just fucking funny. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, that's it. Spotlight effect. Yeah, that's it, man. You know, like when you're going up to people, you're putting a spotlight effect on them. Like, like those people, obviously, they thought I was like selling them something, but I don't want anything from you. All I want to do is pass good energy to you. That's it. That's all I want to do. And if you can replicate that, if you can come out here and just say to yourself, right, for 30 minutes, I'm just going to come out and give people compliments, make people feel nice about life. Like already, I feel like, I mean, it's hard to describe, like God, godly frequency is the best way of describing it. I just feel like I'm walking on air now. And then when I start a sort of like uh, session, uh, oh, one sec, I'll have to navigate the mean streets. There's a white van man over there and a cyclist. It's all right. I'm, I'm in state, so uh, I'm invincible in it. One sec. Someone beeped to me. It said, honk if you're Christian. And he honked. So Christian's driving that bus. All right. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be like a lollipop man. Come over, my people. Come over. Come over. The, the better side's over here. Uh, let's cross. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, if you, can, if you can replicate this sort of energy, this like non-needy vibe in your day-to-day -day life, I, you know, even do that, man. Like literally just, just come out every day for 30 minutes and do what I'm doing. Don't get knocked over by va uh, vans. But yeah, just come out 30 minutes a day. Do that. Integrate that into your lifestyle. Do exactly what I've done today. And I guarantee your results with women will change dramatically because you take yourself from a guy who is a day gamer to a seducer and then to just an advocate of life. That's what it's about. Just becoming an advocate of life, loving everything, finding fun in everything. Like this is what this is. Having fun. Not enough people have fun these days. Why can't life be fun? Why can't this be fun? Why does it always have to be so stressful? Why does it always have to be so outcome dependent? Why does it always have to be followed these step by step and then you'll get your results? I'll tell you one thing. The closer you get to something, the further away you actually get. It's like when you go to the gym, you think, once I get a six pack, I'll be happy. Then you want a fucking eight pack. Then you realize you were happy before you had all this shit. So, you know, it's like, it's just, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Like the things that we sort of brainwash ourselves with and fantastic, you know, it's just, where, where is he? He's there. Um, we've got a Covent Garden, so we can go this way, actually. We've got this way, take a left. Um, and then just, there's McDonald's over there. This is turned into a London tourist guide. So McDonald's there, which is good, which serves probably the McPlant, which I think is a shocking name for a vegan burger. Why the fuck would you call it the McPlant? Sounds like it's got some like nuclear plant inside of it, which may or may not comatose you. Oh, look at dog. Let's go. Let's go talk to the dog. Your dog looks very friendly. 
What, how long have you owned him for? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, like, how long oh. have you owned this dog? Uh, do you speak English? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was like... <laughs> I was like, what, what, a, what a random question that was. I thought you had, like, asking how long I was keeping it. And I was like, Wait, is that, that, that belongs to you, right? You've not stole the dog? No, I have to. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, how long have you had him for? Uh, it's a boy, July, is it? He's a boy. Yeah, 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 since July. His shoes are cool. Thank you. Very cool. Your shoes are cool. Nice one. You don't sound like you're from London. Uh, I'm from France. Oh, je ne parle pas français? Thank you. <laughs> well, listen, I hope to, you two keep looking cool Thank and have you. a fantastic day, my friends. All right, merci, merci. There you go, I speak French, multilingual, Mr. International. <laughs> Take me to any country, we'll be able to have a conversation. That's a hack, actually. You just learn how to say, I do not speak in any language, and then you sweep, basically. And then it doesn't matter what they say back to you, because you don't have a fucking clue anyway. <laughs> how to establish a ignorant tourist frame uh, which way are we going? Not that way. That way! Onwards! <laughs> oh, mate. But yeah. Uh, that's, that's literally just what it's about. You can just talk to anybody and everybody. Guy had a dog. And even he was a bit perplexed. Do you know what I mean? When I just struck up a conversation with him. I asked him like quite a simple question. But even he was taken aback a bit because you know, especially if you're in a place like London, no one really fucking does that, do you? No one really has just like a conversation with no agenda. You know, the only intent being is to just leave people feeling better about life. Especially in today's current world when we've had like COVID and everyone feels a bit more introverted. I think if you can do this, literally just come out your fucking house for 30 minutes a day and just chat to people like I'm doing. It doesn't matter the agenda, it doesn't matter if they're a fucking animal. It could be a dog. You've got to have a conversation with the dog. There's always someone to talk to. There's always someone who needs a smile on the face and just, it's just nice, isn't it? Yeah, I've got some free samples. It's not a Christian Casanova video if we don't get free fucking samples. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's popping off today. Oh, he's getting there before me. Don't think so, fella. Hiya, right, mate. I'll take this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. What is it? <laughs> Looks like mayonnaise with blood in it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, mate? I actually don't know what that is. It looks like we're going to do like uh, shots of cow's milk. I mean, I could get, I won't even give this to a fucking homeless person, to be fair. They'd probably spit it back at me. We need to find somewhere to deposit this. Oh, look, Covent Garden. What a metaphor. It's the journey, not the destination. If we'd have come here, not speaking to anybody, without a yogurt pot in our hand, different story, wouldn't it? But now we're at Covent Garden and we feel like fucking, we feel like Jesus. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm sure what happened in the, it's a new, it's a new uh, nativity, Jesus. I'm Jesus, and I'm going to go meet uh, the wise men with a pot of yoghurt. What the fuck are you talking about, Christian? That's what people are saying now. I don't know, mate. I mean, I'd, I'd offer this to somebody, but, you know. Ladies, hiya. You both look fantastic. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I thought she was going to play limbo, my arm. Now, here we are, Covent Garden. I've still got this fucking yoghurt pot in my arm, mate. We should fling it at somebody. Fling it at like a David Cameron lookalike. If you don't know who David Cameron is, just type in pigs on Google. <laughs> don't do that actually. Do you know what's interesting as well? People think I'm drunk, but I'm not drunk. I'm high on fucking life. That's crazy, isn't it? I'm literally I'm acting as though I'm intoxicated. But this is the natural, the natural narcotic of doing all this, what you've just seen me do. That's, that's what getting in state's about. That's what, you know, you talk about getting numbers and shit. I feel happier for not having any fucking numbers. I can. Hello, darling. How are Hello. you? Hello, I'm fine. How are you? I'm better now I've spoke to you. I'm so happy. Oh, oh, was that a kiss? Oh, thank you so much. Socially distanced as well. <laughs> but, um, and you know, it's like. Do you know what's a very interesting concept, actually? What a very interesting concept is, is day game seduction is actually theatre. That's a very interesting thought. Day game seduction life. It's theatre. All of these people, all of these people, they're, they're my audience. They've all paid to see me today. I'm strutting down the streets. Of, I own this whole world. Like Shakespeare said, yeah, the world's a stage. So if you can kind of have that mentality where, you know, you're going out, you're treating life as theatre, you know, people have paid tickets to see you, then there's no fucking going wrong with that. It's like if you see actors and stuff, they play a character. They don't just play the character, but they become the character. And it's not fake it till you make it. It's believe it until you become it because you know, we're all just people in the world, and you're... You are? Oh, you weren't talking to me. Uh, I thought she was seeing uh, what time the guest list opened. There we go. 
recycle. What's this big inflatable thing over here? Some massive fucking yellow structure. But yeah, it's all theatre. It's all theatre. The world's a stage. So go out and experiment with different things. Maybe you're an introverted guy and you want to be more extroverted. So be more extroverted. Come out and just, you know, twirl in the fucking pavements and have a nice time because no one cares. No, like literally no one gives a fuck. Like look at all these people. They're looking, they might look at you for a little while and then they're like, oh fuck it, I'm insecure, I've got doubts, I'm going to die one day. And then you go stressing about irrelevant shit and that's how most people live their lives on autopilot, not having enough fun. Sad really, isn't it? But yeah man, you know. We're in Covent Garden and there's a, oh, there's a magician there. It's a magician. It's a magician, mate. I should be there. Maybe I'll move to London and uh, become a magician. I'll tell you what, oh, it's fucking starting to rain, mate. We'll walk up this way and then we'll cut the video. Hello, ladies. I just want to say you look lovely. They absolutely hated me. She thought I was going to like kill her or something. We don't condone any killing on this channel. <laughs> We're making people feel nice about life. Probably wouldn't, wouldn't recommend slapping your hand in someone's face like that, though. However, <laughs> it's theatre. No one gets hurt in theatre. Right, we're gonna, let, let's make like one final person feel nice about life and I'll do like an outro and then we'll say ta-da and then we'll go do something else. Da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, Eileen, before I walk into here, I just wanna say you two look fantastic. Have a great day. There we go, that's it, nice one. We're stopping off at the Nags. Is it the nag? The nag's head. Let's just, let's just fucking stop here and say things and then say bye. Um, so yeah, hang on. My lips are a bit dry. Right, we've, uh, we've lived life basically in that 30 minute sequence that you've just seen there, however long it was. Started off in Leicester Square with that conversation with that lovely woman. Wasn't even feeling that social at the time. And then we've literally gone through the streets of London, having a fucking great time. Seagull, pigeons just flew past me. And what a different, what a different day it is. You know what I mean? I've not, I've not done anything special. I've just had conversations with people. I've interacted with the world. I've seduced the world. I've come out, not even looking for any numbers. Don't give a fuck about the numbers right now. All I give a fuck about is making people feel nice because that makes me feel nice about life. So I urge you to go out every day, do it for a month, every single day, go out your house, 30 minutes a day, do what I've done now and your conversation skills will hit new fucking heights because this, 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 all that this is, is having conversations with people. Forget about day game, forget about structure, forget about models and approach systems and formulaic step-by-step -step things. Just come out here and just say hello to people, give people compliments, think on the fly, what can you say to this person? Get a free yogurt pot. Who knows what'll happen to you? Maybe you'll get stuck, like something that doesn't look like mayonnaise that's just been shit out the back of a milk wagon, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's going to start to rain, I think, but we're going to do things anyway. And I think the, fi the final thing, the final thing that I will say is if you are coming out on your own and you've, you've, you've tried doing this sort of shit and it's not working for you and you want to come around with me, then drop me an email, ukdagam at gmail.com. We will come out and we will do this together as a drill. As a, as a segue into getting better at conversation with people. We'll go out and I'll walk you through it. Come and soak up the energy of a city with me. Like I think I'm the best person to go around with right now. You've seen it for yourself, how I interact with the world. And right now, in an age where people are more resistant than ever to come out and have conversations, you need someone like me in your fucking life. You want someone like me in your life to guide you through the process and you're gonna be on a fucking wave, an amazing wave of life, man. So ukdaygame at gmail.com, send me an email, have a free consultation call not got anything to lose really, have you? Get to talk to me for 30 minutes. It's great. Um, and that's it, that's it. Hello, 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 hello. I'm not famous, don't worry. Uh, why are you laughing? I am famous. Got a business card if you want one. Anyway, bye. You stay sexy, okay?